Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorials. In the previous video tutorial, we have discussed CSS negation pseudo class and how we can use it. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS lang pseudo class or CSS language pseudo class selector. The way of using the lang pseudo class with respect to the selector is we write a selector, then we write colon. Then we write lang pseudo class. In pair of brackets, we pass ISO language code. In flower bracket, we write declaration list. What this syntax helps us to do? It helps us to select any HTML element targeted by the selector. If it has the lang attribute value set to the specified language code. Lang pseudo class is especially meant for the lang attribute. We know that lang attribute is a global attribute which we can use in many of the HTML elements. If you search online for ISO language code list, you get a list of languages and associated language code. Even ISO provides the list of country codes. I suggest you people to search for ISO language code or ISO country code on Google. I suggest you people to have a look. ISO, ISO stands for International Organization for Standardization. It is responsible for giving web standards especially. You can see I have listed some languages and uh, for them language code. AR for Arabic, EN for English, HI for Hindi, IT for Italian, JA for Japanese, FR for French. Let's see an example. P colon lang in bracket I have written en in flower bracket I have written border to px dotted blue what this code does it selects any p element if its language attribute value set to en let's see the demonstration first I go to the notepad here this is a default.html page and it has a basic html document structure and title is set to css lang pseudo class selector you can see I have already opened the default.html in the Firefox. Title is set to CSS lang pseudo class selector. In the body section, I create a paragraph with the lang attribute value set to en. Here I say paragraph text closing p. I copy this, paste it down, and here I say fr language code. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that paragraph text, paragraph text got displayed. I go to the head section and I say style type equal to text or CSS closing style tag. Here I say locate any paragraph if it has the lang attribute value set to en. Then apply the border of 2px dotted blue semicolon. File save go to browser and refresh. You can see that a paragraph whose lang value is en has now the dotted blue border. Similarly, I can say here fr, I am telling to the browser, locate any paragraph if it has the lang attribute and its value is set to fr, apply the border to px dotted blue. This paragraph has the lang attribute and its value is set to fr. So it is going to have the border to px dotted blue. File, save, good browser and refresh. That is how you can use the lang pseudo class. I hope you guys have clearly understood how do you use the lang pseudo class selector. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again. Try using these in your HTML website. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.